Good morning, and it is Friday, so we all know what that means. Indeed, it is New Music Friday. Now, we're starting today with something rather laid back, relaxing, and uh, I, could I possibly say transcendent? It's called Reimagine by Mercy and Dude. Uh, Ludovico and you, I can't announce any of that stuff, but oh, either way, this is a perfectly chill start to a Friday morning. And in fact, I might just continue playing the full seven minutes and allow myself time to relax in my plants and enjoy a nice cup of coffee. So let's uh, see what's coming next. It might be pick up a beat, but until then, good morning. Welcome to New Music Friday. I'm X2E, and this is called Reimagined. Now, I did indeed listen to the full 7 minutes and 34 seconds of the last track, and although nothing new, so I don't know quite what was reimagined, it was an incredibly relaxing and very enjoyable track. So I will suggest again, check it out. But straight after, the tempo went straight up, and now we have Kessie Remix by Camilo and Sean Mendes. A very interesting collaboration here. Uh, it's funky, it's fresh, it's summertime, and it will, you know, get you dancing if you like your dancing shoes to be on two left feet, like myself. Either way, Friday is continuing to be a great, glorious day, and I hope New Music Friday continues to be this upbeat and no more creeps in the lineup. Tempo is very much indeed keeping itself upbeat this morning and we've followed the last track with Feels Like Love 2019 Lazalo, a fan favorite in the Monster Cat family and indeed a very bad kitty. So like it, rock it, made up of your cup of tea but it is mine and I'm enjoying today so good time. My freaking god, why couldn't they just let Prince rest in peace? I said this when the first song was released off this new unreleased or unheard magic album that, you know, Prince was so, I mean, you can guarantee, right, Prince was like, no, that is not going out on the world. I'm not releasing that. But no, some moron has gone, yeah, I'm going to cash in on this. And, you know, fair play to them. They want to make some money on the back of it. But I guarantee you, Prince is spinning in his little sequence high heels grave thing going, why? I didn't want it released. But now here it is. It's unleashed on the world. It's called Hot Summer. And I'm, no, it is by Prince, but I'm guaranteed he didn't want it released on the world. Hot Summer. <laughs> oh, in fairness, the, it is the best of the bad bunch that have been released. But no, let the guy rest in pieces. Leave his legacy of funk and awesomeness. And Metallica ramping it up by re-releasing some of their older stuff. Uh, and that's no bad thing because everybody needs to hear Metallica at some point in their life. And I'm glad that they're uh, back in new music for a year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is a live version from the October the 12th, 1991. And it sounds just as fresh today as it did back then. And yes, enjoy. We've gone from a really bad Prince album to a really iconic Metallica album. So rock on, people. Rock on. And this right here is why Monster Cat has, has a fantastic 10-year run and continues to grow exponentially. And I guarantee you the future classical music of our time. I'm telling you, in a hundred years, Classic FM will be filled with melod melodic Monster Cat remixes. And the thing is, they don't forget where they came from. From the grassroots to the ground up, they build foundations of some of the future fantastic artists. And they continue to do things like this. The Mix Context from 220. 21. Now they've done this pretty much every year and they will take homegrown DJs, give them an opportunity, a platform to shine and share it with the world and they become future stars. So check it out. If you want the latest new EDM, this is the place to be. Monster Cat, the Mix, mix Contest. Yes. Hey, we're getting a bit kinky. Uh, hurt me too. Mm. But no, it's not that type of hair. This is Hurt Me Too by Bisha and McCall and it is really quite nice and well written and yes i like it put it on your likes because i have and you can blast this in the car and enjoy some 
amazement, merriment, and good times. Even though it is a uh, subject matter quite dark. So, yeah, I like it. It's nice. Nice. Well, this is a new one on me, uh, Jordan Hollywood. Not heard this before. Uh, but it does feature Timberlands, which I have heard of before. Now, the rap, hip hop, R&B genre, it's constantly evolving. Uh, some of us older people uh, may not be too impressed by these new mumbling type rappers, but this isn't that. This is like this fits right in between the the old school and the new school, and it's not bad. Bass, the beat, the the tempo of it, it, it carries it really well, and you can understand what the fuck he's saying, which is always a bonus. So yeah. Uh, I will put this in the recommendation of, yeah, let's, you know, never be scared to try new stuff. And this is new. Yeah. Mm. Mm. I'm just pausing because it's just... Stop is Rage Against the Machine. Now, I know they're not new, and the only reason they're in new music Friday for the last two weeks is because they've re-released a live album. Uh, now, I don't know why they chose this one, because... I, don't, I think it sounds flat, but then I have that issue with a lot of live recordings. I think if you ain't actually there, the feeling's lost when they try and stream it. It just doesn't hit the right button. So it doesn't get a like from me for the playlist in the car, because if I want to listen to Rage, I want to listen to Rage. And as I say, I've had the benefit of seeing these in the 90s and that, the, at the height. So the message is still strong and still is valid today. Which is a shame, because really you think we should have listened back then. But no, we didn't, and we're fucked now. So either way, Rage Against the Machine. If this is your introduction, please just download the original versions. Uh, you're not going to get it. Here's another version of old versus new, or introduces new, and old and new, and bang, and boom, and bash, kaboom, bada bang, bang, bing. You know, it's Method Man, and Gil, Chub Hill, and D-Cure. It's a new release with an old flavor this is mm, yeah this is this is getting a like for the car this will get full blast this will get run ragging through the streets yeah even the cat agrees you, you do don't you yeah this is classic new i like it Ooh, well, what a combination aaron richards and the name you just love saying mr fiji Ouija. Yes, these are another two of Monster Cat's finest and putting these two together is freaking genius. You know, Aaron Richards, I'm sure he did. Yeah, he did, he did. He brought us the, yeah, yeah, he did. He did a huge EP of uh, Numb, Linkin Park, isn't it? Yeah, he did Numb and they are some of the best versions I've ever heard of that song and I like the original. So yeah, putting Mr. Fiji Ouija and Aaron Richards together, you know it's something special. And yeah, it is. It is. It's it is. It's special. You know, if I say it is, it is. Or maybe I'm trying to convince you, but no, I'm trying to convince myself. I like it. I like the combination. I want to guarantee there'll be another remix of this either. Oh, here's something we didn't know we needed. Dance remixes of pink songs and you know it's not bad you may hear it in a club in you know la and other americanas play places i don't think it's gonna make it quite over here to our club scene but you know compared to monster cat rather tame but it's pink and what's not to like pink is an icon we like pink pink yeah she's an icon we like her i say we i like it i'm sure you do too so Worth the, the to listen, maybe put it on your gym playlist. Uh, I've added it to the likes, uh, see what happens. Didn't know we needed a sort of dancey remix of Pink, but her voice does work well. And the attitude comes across nicely. <laughs> oh, it's Little Naz being a little risky again with uh, Jack Harlow. Now, Little Naz, he does make waves and he made a bit of a four par with his Nikes, you know what I mean? You need to learn a lesson from that one, you know. You've got to change something, make your own, you know. But either way, is musically he's making no mistakes, and we like this guy he, for the risks he takes, but also for the inspiration he is to others. 
So fair play to the man. I like him a lot. Yes. Maybe not like this track as much as his other stuff, but gotta respect the guy. So yay! <laughs> Oh my God! This is a this is a, this is something you just never could have imagined. If someone said to you, you know, we're going to take Scar, UK Scar music, you know, one of the greatest bands of that decade, that time, and go, we're going to remix this with some bazooki, and we're going to make it funky. You know, you go, well, those fucking Greeks, they're insane. But they are. I know, because I'm one of them. We are absolutely off our tree, and this. Unlike the one they released last week, this actually works. I like this one. It's made me laugh, it's made me giggle, and it's definitely going in the car. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> Yay! Yay, the Greeks! Yay! Might not be good at building houses, but God, we can really play Bazooki. <laughs> Straight after the laugh and the giggles of Bazooki Kings, I was like, oh, dancing! Yeah! You know, I hear a bit of Bee Gees, and I think, yo, I like that. What is this? What is this? And it's someone called the Dee Gees. And this is an album called Hail Saint Satan. So now I like I like what these do. These are playful. I, I've liked this straight away. I'm going to blast it in the car, and I'm straight after New Music Friday. I'm going to search these out on my Spotify or my Apple Music, and I'm going to put a big follow on them. Because <laughs> who doesn't like a bit of disco? And who doesn't like it? Little Disco Mix, we better. And uh, the geezer that did the uh, Rasputin the other week, <laughs> take notes, this is how you do it. This is how you bring Disco back to the now. Yay! Do it in me. I'm gonna put my skates on this week and I'm gonna roll a disco. Now, it took a little while for me to dust off my country shoes. For new music friday but i'm glad there's at least one new music friday country entry and this week it is if i didn't love you with by jason alden and the wonderful carrie underwood now again country music is my well some people call them guilty pleasures but i find pleasure in it so i'm not guilty about it i am a big country fan and I do like a bit of Carrie Underwood and I do like this new wave of country music. So yeah, I'm glad that a new music Friday. I'm hoping there's at least one other new music country track this week. But if not, this is a good inclusion. So let's do see do down for some heartbreaker and a nice cold beer. It's the Shaggy Sea Shanty that was unleashed on the world a couple of weeks prior. Uh, now we have a remix by LNYTNZ, wherever that is. Either way, it's a dancey remix of the Shaggy Sea Shanty featuring Criss Cross early in the morning. Yeah, and the pirate in me really respects this, so. <laughs> Oh, side note before this video ends, the Little Naz video got removed for nudity and it was just a picture of Little Naz. So again, Little Naz making waves in the TikTok universe, but still worth checking them out. Early in the morning. Now, if you like your relaxing plinky plinky keyboard piano music, this is rather sweet. And I, you know, it's actually called the sweetest so yeah a bit sickly sweet for my liking and it won't make it to the like playlist in the car because it's not safe to fall asleep but then that could be why people have dream catches in the car they listen to plinky plinky relaxing music but it is very relaxing and as you can see my voice has gone a bit down way with it it's plinky plinky it's relaxing maybe you put it on in the bath few candles mm, yeah it's nice just not one for the car plinky plinky you better believe this one's got a 90s feel to it and that's no bad thing it's very 90s very old school but very now because it's new it's called better believe belly the weekend and young thug so yeah he probably was a really young thug in the 90s, but it's a 90s flavor. 
definitely. So if you're old school R&B, this is for you. Or is it R&B or is it hip hop? Kind of, eh. It doesn't matter. It's just 90s, but it's now. So, yeah, better believe. We've gone from the 90s back to the 80s with a bit of a raise, yeah. John J.C. Carr, Bill Coleman and 808 Beach People. It is 80s, but it is very much now. And I am liking this and I expect to hear this around the scene very soon. Liking it, dancing along to it. Baby, come on. Oh, yes. Very nice. Very nice. <laughs> I don't know what this is, but it's not bad, but it's not good, it's not 80s, 90s or now, it's, it's, it sits nowhere in the void of, is it worth listening to, is it a song, is it a message, is it both, is it, is it, what is it? But I tell you what I what I do know, it's by DJ Snake and Mala, and it's called Ring the Alarm. And they want us to turn off the bullshit, which is a very Yeah. And they also want us to turn off the radio, which is kind of counterproductive if they want to listen to this song. But luckily, as it says bullshit a lot, it's probably one for Spotify anyway. So they're not telling us to turn off Spotify. It's got a very MC public enemy uh, feel to it as well. Yeah. And here we have Big Kaz again, and it's iced tea as well, and it is, yeah, this is old school. This doesn't go into the void, this is straight up, there's no mistaking what this is. And yes, iced tea, the original gangster, still as fresh and as prevalent today as he's always been, and Big Kaz came to my attention a couple of weeks prior to this other release and I'm liking I'm liking yeah now sadly Keith may have passed on but Prodigy still lives and they have a very prevalent place in the world of electronic music and here we have a remix of Breathe the Prodigy RSE I and Renny Lavin now, it may not be as in your face as the original, but, you know, the Prodigy has collabed with almost everybody. We've got Pendulum, Pee Wee. Oh, they like peas, don't they? The Prodigy, Pendulum, Pee Wee. So I'm glad to see this in new music for IA, and if it introduces more people to the Prodigy, even better. So, yes. Rest in peace, Keith. Kiss my uh uh-uh. uh. This is Anna Marie and Little Mix. Now I've got two little girls, so I will no doubt hear this in the car more than I would like to. And it is not, it's not a bad song, it's what pop music should be. It's pop. So yeah, kiss my uh oh. Kiss my uh oh. See that uh oh, uh oh. I've heard that before. Uh oh, uh oh. So yeah, nothing new. Even though it is new, uh, you'll hear variants of these type of this type of music throughout history. Always catchy, always singy, always in your face. But yeah, nothing new. But it is new. Uh oh, cloud none again, and this is a more relaxed a foray. It includes some plinky plinky as well. So, yay. Cloud non. Last train home. And if you are on the last train home, the chances are you don't need plinky plinky. But, yay. Cloud non. Last train home. Second for A for Contre. A new music for A. Yay. This is Bad Angel. Now, it's a live version, and I've hit like on it because there's little or no crowd noise at the minute. It's a Derek Bentley, The War and Treaty as well. Uh, it's very old school country. So, yeah, you can hear your do si on this one. Yeah. Hey, hey, 
it's Keizo. This time it's Wales and Shinna Amazel. Now Keizo is back on the road again, so you will be able to catch him somewhere. Sadly, I won't be able to catch him anywhere because he doesn't seem to have landed on this little island we live on. Uh, but if he does, I will be there, hopefully. Uh, either way, gotta love Keizo. He remixes some fantastic tunes and is a true live phenomenon. Yes. So, yeah, if you get a chance to see him, go for it. And uh, this is no bad song either. Alrighty, Roo! This was New Music Friday, and this week we are coming to an end of New Music Friday with some excellent tracks. Uh, but as always, we're going to end it with Monster Cat Silk Showcase, episode 604. No Call of the Wild this week. Mm, probably got released another day. But either way, it's been a fantastic New Music Friday. And what was your favorite? Uh, well, my favorite, I'm not 100% certain. Oh, oh yeah, I do. I know exactly what my favorite was this week. It was the Bazooki Kings. Yes. Wow. Bazooki Kings. That was my favorite this week. But uh, yeah, Monster Cat Silk. Always a good place to end. Chilling out. I will leave this on now while I edit the video for YouTube and just chill back and relax. You can too. Episode 604. Thanks for joining me. I'll be next to you. See you soon.